What's up? Hey, in this video, I want to show you how I put together the listing paperwork when I'm about to go on a listing appointment. So I've got a good friend of mine that want to sell their house. I'm going to go out to this listing appointment, but before I go, I want to show you uh, the, the paperwork, how I put the paperwork together for uh, the listing. Hey, the reason I put this vlog together in the first place is because a lot of you guys have said, hey, Nolly, I think it would be cool if we could just follow you, man, uh, throughout your day and see what you do. Uh, I do a lot of stuff every day, so I want to kind of bring you into my world and, and let you know uh, what I'm up to. So we got the secrets right down here. Look at that. We got my Success with Listings book, uh, which I give away free. Make sure you get your free copy. I hope you already have it. Um, and then this is the this is my listing paperwork that I'm about, about to go take this listing. And this is how I do every single listing packet that I put together. First thing you want, you want to notice is the... Uh, folder that I use is very professional. You know, it's, it's glossy, it's color, and it gives a professional impression, right? You open it up, it's got my team right there on one side, and then over here it's got my business card. Check this out. It's got my business card. Y'all wanna call me, that's my number right there. Hey, I'm not gonna guarantee that I'll answer the phone <laughs> because I got people to do that, right? But look at me, look at this picture that I put on here. Isn't that crazy? It looks like, um, so, so get, get this impression. Now, now, remember, I've been in sales and marketing over 25 years. And so somebody gets my packet, they, they, they get my packet. In this case, I'm handing it to them. Um, and then they open it up. And then doesn't this look like I'm just holding a business, a big giant business card, right? And a lot of, you know, y'all know me, I'm not, I'm not that big headed. <laughs> uh, but I do put my picture on everything because People resonate with me and I resonate with them and I want them to, uh, I want to begin, begin building that love relationship. You know, I hear you guys a lot of times, you know, you tell me, hey, Nolly, you know, I don't want to put my picture, I don't want to put my picture out there and um, I don't get it. You know, I want people to, okay, so think about this. Imagine going to a dating site, which I've never been, thank God, I met the love of my life when I was 20 years old and uh, we've been together uh, 20, 26 years, uh, in a few months it'll be 26 years. But uh, back then they didn't have no dating sites. So, but, it, but if I needed to go to a dating site, imagine having, being on a dating site and not having your picture on there. You wouldn't get very good results, would you? So anyway, um, I like putting my photo on everything uh, because I want to start that love relationship off right. So get this. They pick up my business card and boom, consider it sold. See that? Look at that. That's marketing, y'all. That's branding. That's how we do it. Now, when you put your pre-listing packet or your, your uh, listing documents together, this is what I teach my agents. The very first thing, a lot of times what agents do is they have the listing, uh, the listing agreement first. Like that's the first thing you open up and see. And, you know, imagine going on a date, like a first date, and the first thing you see is like a, a, some kind of a, a, a nuptial agreement or some kind of a, a prenuptial agreement or something like that. You know, this is, this is sort of, kind of like a, we're getting ready to get in marriage together, um, and I don't want them to see that first. You know, I don't, I don't that's not the first thing, <laughs> that's not the first thing that I want them to see uh, when we're starting a relationship. I just want them to see something that's very unassuming, so the first thing that, what that, that I do is I go over the tax record with them, right? So I pull this out and it's tax record. So, you know, I'm going through them and I say, hey, you know, is this your, is, is this your, uh, the, the correct uh, name? Are there any other owners on the property? And then of course, we'll look at the square footage of the property and things like that. So that, all that's doing is that's like an icebreaker. Might be say an icebreaker after the icebreaker, like I've already walked through the house a little bit. Um, I usually like to walk through the house without them, so it's very quick. And so what, what I do, um, because if, if, a, if a homeowner walks you through the house, it's going to take a long time to go through that house. If you walk through it on your own, you can get through it, boom, just like that. So what I tell the, the, uh, the seller, I say, in this case, I say, hey, hey Ellen, I'm going to tell her, um, I want to walk through your house just like a buyer would. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the house on my own. Would that be okay with you? Yeah, Nolly, that's great. Because I, I want to see it through the buyer's eyes, 
right? So that way I get permission to go through the house on my own. And guess what? It saves me a lot of time. And I get to really see, because a lot of times when a seller takes you through the house, what do they want to do? They want to give you a tour. They want, and I don't, really, I, I don't really need the tour. Um, and most of you guys know I don't even go on my listing appointments. Um, I have a team member or team members that do that. But this is a good friend of mine. I want to help her out. So um, I'm going to go myself. It's always good for me to do stuff like that because it keeps me fresh and current too. Okay, so um, I got my book up here. That's for you guys. I do not take my, this book out there with me. Um, I do have my seller guide. I'll show you that in a minute that I take. So the next document we go over is the sales system that I use. And so that's my, my complete, what I call uh, my, uh, my complete system for getting their house sold. So we go through steps one through, I think there's 21 steps or something like that. Um, on the back of that's called real results, right? And these are all the, some different testimonials, not all of them, but some testimonials that I have from different people. Um, so I don't spend a lot of time with going through this with them because they've already watched my video. They've already read my, my pre-listing book. Um, so my seller guide. Then I go through the 10 reasons to trust us with the seller your home, right? And then I go through like a little marketing thing that I have here. Markets my new book. And top four reasons that homes don't sell. You know, again, I, get, I go over all this stuff on other videos, so I'm not going to really show you guys what each of these items are. But this is sort of the, the way my packet looks. I want to show you that. That's the most important thing. Um, and then the, the homework packet, if I haven't already given them the homework packet to fill out, I'll take it with me and have them fill this out. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just have them scan it in and, and you know, just send it back to me. Do you have any questions about how we're going to get your home sold? No. Okay, great. Um, now you already know that these are the top four reasons that homes don't sell. And I make sure that they go through this, um, because it's real important. Like, like number one, the reason the home didn't sell is poor marketing. It's either poor marketing, bad photos, you have a lousy agent, you had a lousy agent, or pricing. Those are the four reasons that homes don't sell, right? So I educate, I go out there and I educate my clients. And then let's say we're a month in and the home isn't selling and I'm doing all kinds of stellar marketing. Um, the photos are fantastic because I hire a professional photographer. Uh, they don't have a lousy agent. They got Nolly Williams on the case, right? So what could the problem be? uh price hmm? right so because i've educated them ahead of time i'm able to get those price adjustments where i need them to be to get that house sold quickly the other handy document that i use is the top questions you must ask any agent before you list your home and i like to use this document with them um, in case they're thinking about uh, you know going with another agent or if they're interviewing more than one agent i like to use this document again i've got other videos where i kind of explain these in great detail um, so I'm not going to do that here. I just want you guys to see how my packet looks. So the first thing you want to have is the tax record. You go over that. That's your icebreaker. Then what you want to do is you want to go through your slick marketing, what you're going to do to get their home sold, um, testimonials, things like that, all your slick sheets, right? So that's marketing, right? What, what are we going to do, right, to get the home sold? Because sellers believe that the marketing is what gets the home sold. So I make sure that I provide that for them. Uh, whether it's true or not, I make sure to give them what they want so I can get what I want, right? So after I go through the marketing, then I go through the market analysis with them and we look at that price. We set the price, okay, All right? And then we go to the paperwork, All right? So it's in that order. Make sure you take notes, guys. Even if they tell you that they're not going to sign anything right then, you always take the listing paperwork with you. So important. Um, and then I highlight all the areas where I need them to initial, okay? Um, I don't I don't ever pre initial contracts and pre sign contracts because what that encourages is that it, it, it encourages delay. In other words, I won't sign it until their initials and signature are there. Um, that's come in handy for me over the years. If you ever have to leave the paperwork behind and um, and have them, which I, I don't like doing, I like to get the signature right there. But if you ever have to do it, you don't want them to have a signed copy of the paperwork. Um, it's just not a good idea. Uh, they, that causes procrastination. When they don't have your signature on it, they're much more uh, eager to move quickly to get the paperwork back to you so you can sign it and get it back to them. Make sense? Uh, and then, of course, we got the, uh, the disclosure notice here. Um, 
Most MLSs require a disclosure notice. And uh, this is what we call a T47 that we use. Again, all this stuff is written, it's, it's in my book, Success with Listings. Um, if you don't already have it, you need it. And it's free, I, I send it to you absolutely free. All you have to do is pay the shipping to get it to you. Uh, you know, this is 380 some pages. Um, you just go to my website, successwithlistings.com, and then um, fill, it, fill out the information. We'll get that over to you. But there, if you already have the book, which most of you, you're watching this video, already have it. Okay, chapter 13, the listing appointment. This chapter is going to have every single thing that you need to know to get ready for your listing appointment when you go on that appointment, okay? So make sure you, um, before you go on the appointment, make sure you study chapter 13 in my book, Success with Listings, all right? So there you have it, guys. This is, um, it, you know, this is how I get ready to go on a listing appointment and the kind of stuff that I put in my little packet. Oh, one other thing. I can't forget this. This is something you guys are going to want to do as well. Let me show you this. You know, I got books everywhere, guys. This is my education right here. People want to know how I stay so smart. I got books. I got books. I got books. I got books. This is just my little office library. I got another library in another part of the house. Okay, so this is my seller guide. I, forgot, I almost forgot this. Um, this is real important too. So I want to have, I want to make sure that they have a copy of my seller guide and I give this to sellers and this guide has been revolutionary. Again, go to success with listings. If you want to get your own copy of this, it's absolutely at no cost because you're going to get sponsors. Look at this. They're going to pay <laughs> 99 bucks a piece, right? To be on the back of your book. And I license the book. Um, each of these are going to pay you 99 bucks and this one right here. The, the lender is going to pay you $300 to be on the back of your book. And that's every year they're going to pay you that. And so that, that gives you, the books only cost $3 to print. And all you got to do is pop my picture off and put your picture on, right? And now you got your own book. All right, here's some, here's some other examples of the book from other people. This is one from Cal Carter, top, top agent out there. And then this is John Lowers. See, so really all they're doing is they're, they're changing the cover, right? But the guts of the book uh, stay the same. Here's Cal Carter. John, let me see if John has sponsors. I don't think John got sponsors for his. Um, you don't have to get sponsors if you don't want to, but I always teach people to get them because um, that way you don't pay for the, you don't pay for the licensing. Um, here's what uh, Cal Carter got his sponsors going. Uh, he was able to get his sponsors, uh, took him like 24 hours or something like that, just to pitch him the idea. Because I give you the templates and everything to, to pitch the idea. But the cool thing about this book is that when you give it to your, um, to your seller, it guides them through every single step of the listing process so that they're not constantly calling you with questions. Because you get this, you know, they're going to forget most of what you tell them during the listing appointment, right? So I license that for free as well. I'll put a link down below. Hey, hope it's been helpful. God bless. If you really enjoyed it, make sure you share it with those that you love. Spread the word, spread the love, share this everywhere because I want to do more of these and I want you guys to support me in this. And the way you do that is you give it a like, you subscribe, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and then you share it. Okay, I'm going to have links down below. I love you and I'll see you on the next episode. Out! Well, hi there, Nolly Williams here, your success coach, and I hope you enjoyed this coaching session. Now, I want to personally invite you to become the next member of my Mentorship Masters program. It's absolutely free. That's right, it's free to join, and I'm going to teach, train, and coach you to your ultimate greatness. To get more information on Mentorship Masters, go to partnerwithnolly.com. That's partnerwithnolly.com. You'll get all the information you need so that you can succeed in the real estate game. Now also at partnerwithnolly.com, you can download your free copy of the Mentorship Masters Success Manual. <laughs> that's right, I wrote a complete success manual that's gonna help you succeed to your highest levels of success in real estate. I wanna help you to succeed beyond your wildest imagination. So go to partnerwithnolly.com to see what it's all about. I'm building a nationwide network of thousands of real estate agents and I want you to be part of it. And be sure while you're there to download your free copy of Mentorship Masters Success Manual. 
It's the complete handbook for my Mentorship Master students so you can see what it's all about. Hey, God bless you. I wish you so much success. Go to partnerwithnolly.com right now. Get your free book and also check out the program. Let's get partnered up. God bless you and I'll see you on the next one.